I was thinking about our last year episode, second year anniversary episode that we did. And I was thinking back to it. I actually listened to it for, for a few minutes. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember how depressed how depressed depressing it was, bro. <laughs> was it was it? No, dude, <laughs> don't listen to it, dude. It was so fucking depressing. What was the vibe? Bro, the vibe was <laughs> we 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 might break up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to The Worst Asian Podcast, where a couple Asian-American millennials give you our shitty opinions on all things Asian. And suddenly, my uh, Google AI is talking in the background. Whoop, whoop. My name is Linji. I'm here with my co-host. His name is Ben. I am AI. AI Ben. Three years in, and we still can't get shit to go on correctly. Yeah, baby. Happy anniversary to Happy you, Ben. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Is that based off any real song? Um, it's based off. It's a real question. It's based off something, right? I was gonna say it's the happy birthday part, but it's not. I have no idea. Because I don't think it's happy birthday. No, happy that... happy birthday, happy happy birthday. Not nah, anyways, okay. guys. Uh, congratulations to us and congratulations to you if you've been here for any number of years, months, weeks, or whatever the case might be. So pat yourself on the back. Right we there, should guys. pat ourselves on the back for actually being alive this year. Yeah, pat each other on the butts. We have been doing this for how long, Ben? What number anniversary is this? This is uh, 14. 14. Are we counting the Korean way where you're one when you're born? Funny enough, I thought for a second that, remember, I asked you, I was like, Yo, are we two years or three years? And you're like, are you doing that Korean thing? And I was like, oh, I think you're right, dude. Because you said I was saying this is going to be our second year anniversary episode, but you didn't correct me? I didn't correct because I was like, it feels like three. But then I'm just being Korean. That's what it is. It's three years, right? Three calendar it years. It's three calendar years. It's three 36 solid months. Years. 36 months of doing this. 36 days, yeah. For sure. Every year I ask this to you, Ben, but do you have any relationships longer than this podcast? <laughs> Dude, the longer we do this podcast, <laughs> the obvious question, the obvious <laughs> answer is always going to be no. It's like we're at our 10, 10 but, year anniversary. Put it this way. At this rate, if let's just say hypothetically I was doing this podcast, right? We just kept doing it. And then I get married. Yeah. This podcast will outlive my marriage. <laughs> if you think about that. You mean your marriage at that point will only last for a couple of years? <laughs> yeah, or that, yeah. Or it just fails completely, dude. That's the only thing you can think of. You know, the good thing is if you meet someone that if you meet someone in the future and you're already yeah. doing the podcast, she is marrying into the podcast. Oh shit. Yeah, dog. No. As opposed to my wife who had to marry me. <laughs> pre-podcast and now has to deal with the bullshit yeah yeah yeah. yeah so yeah. she didn't know what she signed up for but in theory your future wife knows exactly what she's getting into she's going to have to bro she is going to yes um shout out to shout out to your wife because technically when we do shoot stuff yeah she does help us how does she help us by not being in the house well, <laughs> <laughs> by like you know like you're saying like if we have to so before we're recording me and Lindsay, we actually had to do some um video shoots we had to do for our sponsors, shout out to them. Yeah. But you're saying like, oh, I might have to have my wife like maybe like hold this or maybe she has to do oh, this yeah, yeah. stuff or maybe read lines to you so you could just go back and forth. If like, oh, you weren't here point. to help me film those videos, she would have to do it from her POV style. She would actually just be me. She would just be you. She would just put on facial hair. Gold chain. Go <laughs> just spike her hair up completely. Flaky skin. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, yo. so do you want to explain that? Oh, yeah. We were almost not going to do this episode. Yo. Because... We missed last week. We were going to do a, a couple of things, actually. We were going to miss this week. And yes. this right now is actually happening last minute. But are Thank you God. okay, Ben? Um, Tell the people what you have going on with your body this week. My, ba <laughs> my balls are itchy. My balls are completely itchy. Um, so people don't notice, but I have really, really sensitive skin. I have a psoriasis. Psoriasis. Yeah. So I actually went to a house party. Someone said, someone asked about gonorrhea. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I was like, because you could kind of see it on my neck. Oh, yeah. But I was like, is it gonorrhea yeah. of the neck? I was like, <laughs> that sounds like some Roman disease, you know, like back then, you know? Did uh, he have personal experience with gonorrhea? So he just attributed bro, that to what was happening with your skin? So I asked him. He's like, it's because I had gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> he had gonorrhea, dude. Because I'm not going to lie. I personally don't know what the symptoms of gonorrhea is. I didn't know either. I was like, I, I was just assume maybe it's like a rash or something. But yeah. I was like, was this girl like, was she like straddling my neck? And her, <laughs> and her juices were everywhere. I don't know what to say so to ben that. So Ben has these rashes all over his, his oh, entire body. It's a, yeah. So technically he's not contagious. That's not no. the reason why we did not meet up. Yeah. But 
he was very uncomfortable. So it, it would have been weird if he was recording and then you know, he's like scratching his, his his whole body or like his crotch. <laughs> yeah, because you said you got a little bit of a yeah, my my little uh, falupula. I don't know. If you, I don't know if that's a medical term, but actually, dude, when we're at your dining table, I was scratching a little. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It looked like I was like it looked like Himalayan pink salt. Just like is that all over my dining room floor right now? It might be. You might. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to ask your Roomba too. I need to turn it. on the Roomba then throw it in the garbage afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta throw away. Your, you gotta get new floors. But <laughs> new floors. Pretty much, it's a skin condition where it just gets extremely uh, dry and itchy. It's an autoimmune response, and it's from like it's usually triggered from really cold, dry weather, and then from stress. So those two just kind of kicked in. And last week, I wasn't feeling well in last general. Last week, you were regular sick. I was regular sick. Under the weather. Yeah. But then I noticed this was happening at the same time because I noticed I was scratching. And then yeah. slowly, I turned into the Red Hulk. I was just like, whoa, I am. It's one of those things where I would not have believed Ben if I didn't physically see his... Yeah. It's... Yeah. Lindy, you know what's good? It's good that it's happening in the winter where you can wear long sleeves and long pants. Yeah, as that's opposed so to true. summer where you have oh to wear short God. sleeves and shorts. Yeah, it would be much more obvious because right now it's only visible like near your neck. Yeah, gonorrhea of the neck. <laughs> gonorrhea <laughs> of the neck. <laughs> we're gonna make we're gonna make that the new medical term. <laughs> <Gonorrhea. laughs> but speaking of gonorrhea, um, we're celebrating. <laughs> what, what? We're speaking. Out, I'm trying to do a seg- I'm trying to be like you. Do a segue. We're speaking about our, our third year anniversary doing this podcast. So yeah, we survived another year. We survived another year. Mainly, I survived another year being with you. Yes, you you tolerate a lot. My main question to you, Linji, is yes, I'm ready for it. yes the hard end questions. Do you still want to quit doing this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, life is like a roller coaster. Okay, there we go. Let's start with that. Depending on the seasons, the or the ride, the height of the waves and the tides are Ooh, different. Okay, even depending on what time of the day, the height the heights of the waves are different. Okay, okay, low tide, high tide. Yeah, it's uh nothing has changed about that this past year. This entire year was a uh, very much of a tidal wave a tidal wave a typhoon a typhoon yes Oof. It turned into, it turned, it's just great it's a typhoon just elevated. is just an asian hurricane right whoa, no, no, no. whoa. i'm being serious whoa, bro hold on, be hold careful on. now a hurricane is what just makes an, it asian because that's what they call it in asia they call it a typhoon as opposed to here on the west we call it a hurricane no there has to be another word no for no it. it's the same thing it's the same tropical storm it just depends where it is i'm trying i'm trying to think about that now so so we have hurricanes here. Hurricanes, hurricanes are just a big ass storm okay. that develop in the sea and then make right. its way to land. But but a tsunami is just a big ass storm that develops in the sea and make its way to land. But a tsunami is a, isn't a tsunami like a gigantic wave? So what a a typhoon then? A typhoon is is a typhoon an Asian hurricane? Shit. Or is that a Pokemon move? I can't really tell the difference. It is a Pokemon. It, move. it, it, it is a Pokemon. Is. I think tsunamis have to do something with like the wave where it's like, it's just a strong amount of water entering the shore. That's why Japan is so fucked with them. By the way, we refuse to find the dictionary. Yeah, we, we could Google this we shit. We have access to the whole internet in the palm of our hands. But we want to piss you guys off. <laughs> we just want to guess. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to make up our own uh, fucking uh, natural disasters. Why don't they just call hurricanes just American typhoons then, right? <laughs> no, no, this is different. I don't know where you started with this Asian shit. Yeah, I'm just, I, I don't know where. Because it's just a big storm making its way to land so, from the sea. So pretty much what you're saying is that some natural disasters are just racial. <laughs> no. And they're, they're racist. They're they just different like, names. Oh, let's, let's talk to Chinese today. They're just different or names. Like in Korea, they call it kimbap. In Japan, they call it sushi. <laughs> it's, it's the same shit. It's just stuff in, in a rice roll. A kimnado? Yeah, yeah, maybe. It's the exact same thing. Uh, I don't know. I forgot what we're talking about. Uh, uh, this year has been like a tidal oh, like wave. like a tidal wave. Like a tidal wave. Do you feel like... Where do you feel like we are? Like, do we think we're still like neutral, the negative, the positive? Like, how do you feel mentally, physically, uh, projection of the podcast? I think this past couple months when we've made a big pivot, the biggest pivot that we've made since we started this podcast yeah. is we are no longer keeping up with social media. Yeah. Which is in some ways a missed opportunity because I, yeah. it does help in terms of sponsorships, even like growing that segment of our brand of our brand it helps right so we are missing a lot by not focusing so much on social media but that takes away a huge chunk of what i have to do on a week-to-week basis yes i don't get the 
need to constantly check social media to see what videos work and stuff like that. So that's gone. Yeah. You're dealing with the... We still are up to date on social media. Like we'll still post like right. stories here and there. So like, it's not like we're totally gone and we still chat with people via social media as well. So it's there as more just a medium to chat with people as opposed to like broaden our exposure. Right, right. But I would say that's at least like 40% to 30% of the work gone off my shoulders. Can I ask you this? Do you miss it? In some ways, I do. Oh, shit, for real. Yeah, because it's like a challenge. Sometimes uh -huh. you're doing stuff and then if, if something hits, there is like this feedback loop of dopamine. Like, oh, this is doing really well. Or yeah. like, this video is uh, going viral or, you know, it's Yo. whatever. There is like a... I'm not gonna lie. I miss, I miss that, bro. I need that fix, bro. <laughs> yeah. it's, it, it's weird. I know exactly what you're talking about. I mean, the majority of the stuff doesn't really go viral, but every yeah. once in a while, at least like two, three times a month, like one video will kind of hit. Yeah. And it is like nice to see the numbers going up. It's a very artificial, pointless metric, but it's nice nonetheless. I'll just be honest. It's a metric we give a flying fuck about, bro. Cause like, Somewhat. Because I'm not going to lie, sometimes it does feel good saying like, yeah, that went, that went million plus. It's like, what? You? <laughs> yeah. We're kinda, but we needed we're to wrong. trim the fat somewhere. So this year we already decided yeah. that that's the first area because I think this podcast, these episodes, our listeners here are much more important overall. Yes. And for the longevity of this podcast so that we don't turn into any other number of other podcasts that have just like come up and now they're gone or like they're just doing like bi-weekly right. once a month or they're getting canceled or, you know, like some shit like that, right? There's all this stuff happening. Yeah. I don't want to be another one of those numbers. I want to keep this going for as long as we can. Yeah, yeah, same here. And, um, you know, speaking of cancel, I'm kind of at a point where I'm like, I don't give a fuck if I get canceled. I, I sh I'm just kidding. I do, I do care. I do care. But I'm just trying to say, there's a nice comforting feeling now knowing it's like, okay, like, I think we've been through the ringer where it's to the point where we know exactly what to say, how to do it. The ebbs and flows, definitely, I think that's smoothed out. That's the biggest thing I noticed about uh, this year, I feel like. I think for I could be wrong. I also feel like this year, we've, not that we've never been ourselves, but we are pretty much ourselves 100% now. Like, there is yeah. no need to taper back stuff. It, there is no need to, like, over-exaggerate things. I think where we are now, the comfort of what we're talking about, how we talk about it, the level of stupidity, that matches <laughs> that matches our our personality, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in some ways, I would imagine for the first two years, in the back of your mind, you always, like, had to at least screen what you're saying just to make sure that it fit on brand or worked with what you wanted to do in terms of like developing right. yeah you know it's like um this is the first time where i feel like before it was very stressful because it was like how do we do it we're not doing it right I, and when i say we it's mainly just Lindsay yelling at me <laughs> it's, <laughs> mainly, it's mainly like ben like why did you do you know you gotta do this way da, da, da. and now it's like i can tell Lindsay can like sleep a little better in his weird weird uh bed position that he likes to sleep in by telling my me, temper Peter. <laughs> yeah, by, by because like you would tell me, hey, that was that was a good show or a good edit or something like, hey, like less ums. There's some, there are some things that like that's more like I, the technical stuff. I still tell right. you less ums mainly because I don't like listening to ums in post processing. I don't, I don't blame you. It's hard enough for me. Like when I like to uh, listen to our episodes, yeah, I'll hear myself. I'm like, oh, I can only imagine the what I'm saying, but like way more sloppy. Yeah. You know? And I'm like, oh man, Lindsay's in the back, like probably punching like a fucking, <laughs> his heavy bag with my face on it or something. You know, I'm like, yeah. oh damn. But I guess the other thing I wanted to ask is, you did want me to know is, if there was this past, oh, sorry. The past things that we've been recording, was there any certain episodes that, you know, really resonated with you? Oh yeah, I did. Do you have your list? Because I, I have a few I could point out. I just want to also say I got a lot of lot of good feedback for people. And thank you guys so much for listening. It's the one that's based off about the um, sibling or living with siblings as opposed to just being the only child. A lot of people really enjoyed that one. I think that should have been the last episode. Yeah. A lot of the... a lot of people really enjoyed it. I was surprised by it. They, like it was almost instant. People were like, oh, as soon as good. it came out, I was like, I was like, shit, thank you so much for that. We try to always think of um new ideas. It's hard. It is hard because we are three thirty-six months times four what's 36 times four uh eight, Actually, you know 814 what? how many weeks are in a year 52 52 are you sure it's not 56 
No, I was 52. Oh, I was 52. I actually, when you said <laughs> I got a little hesitant. I was like, oh, shit, maybe it's 52. Uh, that's, so that's 156. Maybe we missed a couple weeks. Uh, yeah, we so, have to. Oh, actually, you know what? I think we're on like almost episode 150 because I titled the episodes in my storage. Right. Oh, so, okay, okay. So yeah. this actually might be, if not close to, it actually might be episode number 150. Damn, bro. Episode, full episode number 150, not even counting the bonus episodes. Of which there are at least like 18, 6, 16 or something like that. Yeah. So we had our first episode officially three years ago on October 16th. That's amazing. Of 2000. Name the year. 2021. Good. 2021. Year after uh, the big pandemic. Yes. The big boy. So October 16th. And the funny part was I almost forgot to do this this, um, anniversary episode. For real? I totally forgot that we do this once a year because yeah when this episode comes out it might be a couple weeks later than october 16th that is very true Normally, right. i try to time it so that it's around october 16th around exactly the three-year point but i literally remember this because i was transferring around storage of yeah. our old episodes and i saw that we had a two-year anniversary and i was like oh shit yeah we need to have a third year anniversary episode i was thinking about our last year episode second year anniversary episode that we did and I was thinking back to it. I actually listened to it for, for a few minutes. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to listen to our, our past episodes, actually. Sometimes, like, if there's something I, I particularly pertain to, I'm yeah. like, let me, let me, you know, let me dabble in it. And I remember how depressed, how depressed, <laughs> depressing it was. Bro. <laughs> was it was, it? No, dude, no. don't listen to it, dude. <laughs> it was so fucking depressing. What was the vibe? Bro, the vibe was, <laughs> we, we're, we might break up. <laughs> Uh, what's it? My family is fucked. Like <laughs> your family. Bro, you, you were going through some shit too, bro. It was bad. It was the year where a lot of bad things was happening, even to our friends. Remember that oh, year? That was not a good year. Yeah, that was a terrible year, bro. And like I remember, even I'm not a big horoscopes guy, but the horoscopes even I said it. The horoscope. Sorry, we, you know, sorry to you people out there that that believe in it. Oh, uh, what's it? I think it's a uh, Scorpio sorry. season right now. Just a shout out. Uh, all my exes were Scorpios. <laughs> I know we. You got y'all fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, you guys are crazy. But yeah. I remember I was listening to it. I was like, damn, this is depressing. And it's just, it's just nice knowing that we are doing this episode. Yeah. And it's like, oh shit. Like, you know what? This time it felt like we actually did it collectively. And when I mean we, it's just, Linji seems less stressed. So when I see that, it's like, okay, it's a good thing. Because the main pivot besides the actual administrative and the things that we're doing less yeah. is that there is this mental, um, how do I describe it? Like, it's no Gymnastics. longer about pushing the podcast to a certain end goal. Mm. Right now, there is no end oh, goal. Oh, you're right. Yeah, and I yeah, think yeah. because we've let go of the end goal and we've settled on where we are, like in theory, we know that it, this is not going to become Joe Rogan experience shit. And we also know that this is not going out to 10 people, right? There is a good... Yeah. There, there are several thousand people that listen to this on a weekly basis. Yo. And we're very thankful for that. Yeah, and I, bro. In terms of like, is that where we're going to peak? I'm perfectly fine with that. You're right. Because in theory, if you picture a stadium full of or like an auditorium full of X number of people. Yeah. You like, oh, that is a lot of people. Right. Obviously, you can never gather that many of them all in one spot, but just in this metaphorical, theoretical auditorium of the internet. This uh, VR version, let's just say, if there was. Listening to our bullshit and like, instead of focusing on an end goal, it was more about like, just enjoy what you have already so that you can cherish it and that's much more important. So that just the mental pivot of that and not having these end goals of like, we need to get this many sponsorships or we need to like yes. grow consistently all the time by this number or like, you know, social media, especially letting go of those metrics and just focusing on this and not being stressed if we do miss a week for a real reason, right? For a real reason. If we were though. going to miss this week, yeah, it would have been fine. It's not the end of the world. You're right. They'll come back. Worst case, we have... Apparently, 150 episodes in the back catalog. So, I, that's, that's, dude, I almost bet you if you guys... I, was, I know you're going with this, dude. Press shuffle. Yeah. Listen to a random episode. It'll feel like it's new. You won't remember yeah. it. You I won't remember, remember shit. it. I don't remember shit. But yes, you could do it. Yo. Just press sh- shuffle. Do it. Do it for the next four weeks, bro. Just get all <laughs> that. Get episode from like season... Season like one and a half. Like middle of uh, like beginning of season two, I just replay that shit. I bet you, people were like, "Oh, this is new. I like this, this. this is new, fresh content." Yeah, that's crazy, man. But um, going back to everything you're saying, we do really appreciate, especially as 
I guess you could say our listener or fan engagement is we really do read almost all your messages. Ben does now. Yeah, Linji does too. And and this is the thing, guys. And there's a handful of you that actually sent emails. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. See, and we love you guys so much. Um, if you if you want me to say something to Linji, I would gladly say to him, please no pictures because you know I don't know what I'm gonna be opening. But we really do like and go and I'm I'm sorry I got a little emotional. I really do enjoy when you guys do message us because it does mean that you guys are following and you're specific about what it is that you're listening. Let me ask you, Ben. Now that you're dealing with the social media for the past couple months, yeah, because I've been dealing with it for the past year, two and a half years prior yeah, to yeah, it, for sure. So yeah. I got to engage and listen to these nice words more often than you did. Yeah. Every once in a while, when there was something like very meaningful i would screenshot it to you and then show you it too yes and then you would see it but now that you see it on a more daily basis even like the small thank yous yeah do you feel differently or better about it than when you weren't as engaged with the with the listener chatting portion i guess for most part it's really really great for the fact that i didn't realize some of the things that i like people can gravitate towards too and it's great because something there's some you could clearly tell, oh, this is, this is a design by Linji. This is like a design by me. In the sense of like, when Linji does post something and I post something, you could clearly tell our well, personalities. I, also, if I post something that I would just write dash Linji from it. Yeah, but then also, I think people like, have a good idea now of like, oh, this is, the, this is from Linji. Like, it's, it has like Linji's signature written all over it. Or if it's a bottle service, it's definitely not Linji. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a bottle service. <laughs> there's like sparklers and there's, and there's a sign. Oh, man. And that sign says, Happy Birthday, uh, Ben. That, it, that is clearly not me. Oh, man. Yeah, there's clearly some things you guys can tell. If it's like three in the morning and I post... <laughs> it's three in the morning. And I, it's and definitely I, not me. And I send a picture of like a dive bar bathroom. <laughs> And like, there's, you know, it's fucking dirty as fuck. That's probably me. <laughs> Linji's probably home. I will tag everything dash Linji. Yeah. But if me and Linji do go on, part, on party, you know, we'll gladly, you know, I'll let you guys know about that too, for sure. But all right. Go, so uh, Ben, yes, yes, yes. how have you felt about this past year? Summarize it. Let me know your thoughts. Um, Was it a roller coaster for you? A slide? Was it a zero gravity room? <laughs> sure. How many Gs? How many uh, forces of Gs were there involved in stuff? Um. This one was a lot better. The only thing, if I had to nitpick, is more of my personal life. It's better now. It's so much better now. I swear, now. if you listen to that second year episode, you probably said something similar. Oh my God, no. But the second year was like, I, I thought I was just apologizing to you, dude. I think, I think it was just my apology letter, bro. Like, yo, I'm so sorry. I felt like a eulogy or some shit, bro. Like, it was depressing. <laughs> eulogy. Yeah, man. And I just knew that I was actually genuinely, I had no idea how my, my life was going to be. Last I year. I remember. I was, if that's you had to bet, flip a coin, 50-50 or 51-49, okay. did you think last year we were going to get to today? I'm not going to lie. I didn't know. Me too. Oh, for real? I would have said, I would have bet money the opposite if I had to bet. I would have said, well, I don't think we're going to make it to a third year. I actually thought that for the longest time, I was like, this might be the last one. I don't think we can make it. I don't see how we can make it. That was the worst part. I couldn't see it. And that's when I was like, oh man, this is bad. And a lot of it was, you know, I was definitely responsible for it. And that was the thing that really sucked. So yeah, uh, last year, bro, I was like, maybe I won't even have a job. I don't know. Like I just, I just had well, all these Technically doubts. right now, you're in between three jobs right oh, now. Well, that, <laughs> At this exact moment, you're yeah. in between three jobs. So I'm really excited too. Um, let's see, I should be working. Don't say a, any names. I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, knock on wood. I'm not going to jinx anything. Yeah. I told Linji today, Linji's, the one because we were shooting our shoot, uh, that does that's terrible English. Uh, <laughs> we're shooting a, I'm shooting my shoot. We're shooting the, some sponsored videos on the side, and we're yeah. talking about it. But yeah, that's the thing. Like, and it's at a point where I am very comfortable. I think we're very comfortable in our own skin now. Like, this does feel like for once, it's oh, we are the worst agent of uh, podcast brand. Like, that's what it feels like. You know, there's been some controversy with some younger Gen uh, Z us? Asian podcasts over the past couple, uh, month or so. I, I heard about this. Right. Yeah. So not to name names, but... Do it, bro. No, no, no. It's not my, my place I, to I, I, name I, I, names. But like, I somehow feel like we're shielded from that. Not that it's a huh. 99% effective shield. Right. right? We're not... Yeah. We're but not But I think special. we're at a point where we're still heavily stupid. Like I said, oh, right? Oh, but yeah, bro. Yeah, brother. Old enough that our experiences I see. come from a more genuine place. I see what you're saying And we now. are well aware of what we know and don't know. 
Yes. And we know that when we say things, it's simply our opinion. And we're not trying to like, hopefully we don't come off sounding like a bunch of know-it-alls. Yo, for the love of God, I yeah, if we sound like... Because we always joke like, oh, this is our dumb opinion or like, yeah, we're guys, a bunch of idiots yeah. or whatever. But even when we say things, I think we try to explain them in a rational way, which comes from just being, you know, at our age point, right? Yeah, just, you know, we're human. We try to keep, we try to have no ego when we do these things. Um, you know, also, we told Linji actually. I think we're just of, trying to entertain more than we are trying to educate. Right. If this is edutainment. Edutainment. <laughs> <This> is, <laughs> that's a good one. I like the edutainment. Like, you do. That's the thing, ben, too. What happened? You had a turn for this. Fuck. <laughs> you did, do you oh, remember? Oh, fuck. I did. <laughs> you had and you loved it. Fuck. Oh. Crap. You had a turn for this. I don't. I, I don't even know how to find it. There's too many episodes to look look into that one. Convincement. Come. I have no idea. Convincement. Con- I forgot for fuck. Enter- Maybe I wrote it somewhere. Guys, if you know what we're talking about, Ben combined like the word entertainment, I think, and then some kind of like convincing or persuading, and he made one stupid word. <sighs> please DM us. I'm. Yes, please DM us. Do you think if you guys know what I'm talking it's about? It's like season two. You think? No, no, it's. Recently, it's the it past couple months. It's the past couple months. All right, so then maybe I can try to find it. Maybe. Yes, yeah, so you were saying I cut you off. I forgot what I was. Saying. Oh, I'm going back to what you're saying about like other uh, podcasts and stuff. On average, a lot of podcasts don't really go on for a long time, so I think that's what it was too. I remember when we were doing it last year, and we're talking about the anniversary. I was wondering, man, what is our shelf life? Because everything here does have an expiration date. Yeah, and that was my biggest fear, and you know. I had so many questions going into it. I just remember, even when we finished recording, I still felt like this very empty feeling. I remember that I still carried for a long time. But you know, all I, I think could- you're just hungry that day. You probably didn't have breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that's called fasting. <laughs> I, I I forgot to eat my oatmeal. That's what it was. My not enough fiber that morning. <laughs> my banana yogurt shake. That's what I forgot. I didn't know. I'm gonna ask you about this afterwards because I I know what you're talking about, but. I think we're talking about the same group, but I heard some, you yeah, know, some couple groups, podcast uh, groups that are Asian affiliated. Do you think it is better to put your dumb thoughts out there in your 20s or in your late 30s like us? My opinion is I think always in the 20s. Really? Because I think in your 20s, it also depends on how you handle it, but in your 20s, you are, you're, you're younger. You're supposed to make mistakes. I think 20 year, old, 20 year old people don't know how to handle that kind of thing. There's a difference. When you're 30, though. So, so you're saying the younger people have more leeway when they're putting their dumb thoughts out there, yes. but they don't know how to better censor themselves or to rein themselves in? Right. Where at our age, you know, we have less leeway because we should know better, but right. we also will know how to do, how to be better. There's a difference. Right. But we're all just still dumb. We're still dumb. <laughs> You're still fuck. dumb. Yeah. You know what I mean? All so right. I am curious about that, you know, that you mentioned it, but we're going to talk about that later off mm-hmm. air. All right, yeah. Ben. What are some favorite moments that you have for this past year? I Whether think... it be episodes, uh, interviews. We only done a handful of interviews this <laughs> year. What are you talking about? We haven't done... I've done most of the oh, interviews. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I was like, you have not been. I haven't done shit. Yeah. It feels like we haven't done it for like two years. <laughs> uh, we should do more interviews. Um, let, me, let, let me get back to that about the interviews. Okay. But My favorite? Yes, please. Okay. Actually, I'll give two favorites. Yeah, yeah let's, My just, favorite let's do two My favorite episode actually is from the bonus stuff, which I know is not everyone that's here. Okay. My favorite episode this whole year, and this may be slight recency bias, uh-huh. was the one where Ben listed how lazy we are. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah I had, that was on my list. The next time <laughs> that we miss a week, <laughs> I will play that episode, the, oh. that bonus episode, which was um, How Are We Lazy? And we went back and forth listing different ways how we're lazy overall in life. I didn't have much to, to contribute to that, to that uh, uh, conversation. <laughs> ben had a lot of surprising, very <laughs> fun things to contribute. That was my favorite episode. <laughs> I think I think the crazy part about it is like I think that was one of the first few times where Linji kind of stopped mid recording and had to like put his mic down and he had to ask me, "Yo, are these stories real? <laughs> are these? Fu- did you just make this shit <laughs> up?" He, he did not believe. Me. I was like, "Bro, I'm being dead ass serious, bro." <laughs> and so that's a great idea. I think we should play the episode. I think people will find how stupid I am and uh, how lazy. It's just more important how lazy I can be lazy and <laughs> and see who could top me. 
Um, uh, speaking of bonus stuff, a big thank you since we wrapped up the actual bonus subscription stuff. A big thank you to all the people that have ever subscribed, whether you're still subscribed, whether you unsubscribed after we told you to unsubscribe. Yeah. A big thank you to all of you guys. It means a lot. It really does. To just have you guys. It really really does. Support us like in a tangible way. Yes. Not that we actually need the money. The Uh, only reason why we need money. There are two, (laughs) there are two reasons why we need money. Come on now. There are only two reasons why we even take on some sponsorships and take on some of that subscription money is because number one, just doing our taxes and legal paperwork cost apparently over a thousand dollars. Yeah, I was gonna say about this, bro. I saw a tax return. I was like, "Yo, we're we're in the red, bro." I and, was like, "How exp- we gotta change our CPA, yeah. bro?" <laughs> and number two, bro. number two, memory and and hard drive space because we are on our oh, fourth shit. external external um, hard drive right now. And the more video we do, and the more 4K this video becomes, the faster and faster we have to get storage. So, oh, the fuck. CPA and our actual hard drives are what take up most of our money right now. Yeah, okay. Plus, plus, I think this year we also got a new camera with some of our money. Oh yeah, yeah. this camera's new. This camera was this year. Ben and I have not taken a single dollar in these three years. Everything has been reinvested into our CPA. <laughs> well, what Luigi is trying to say is, if if we had to liquefy our assets. We'll be we'll be multimillionaire. <laughs> okay. I, our LLC is probably worth what, like eight hundred thousand. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> She's like, oh, wow, are you crazy? That's the only places where we actually keep money. So if we, if we can keep things neutral with the few sponsorships that yeah. we take, that's fine. We need a war chest for when tax season comes. We need to have some money. Dude, to- that's soon. That's actually pretty soon. Yeah, that's uh, next year. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's my favorite episode. But a non-bonus episode that was my favorite. Also, Ben's idea as a. Uh, Asian animals. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, that was good, man. I think I like the ones where I get to just listen to Ben. <laughs> if Ben has a moderately good idea and it's a fun episode and we can somehow <laughs> try to make it Asian, which is still a goal yeah, of this yeah, podcast, yeah. to try yes. to make something Asian as possible. I think that yeah. was a fun episode. That was a good one. I, I definitely fucked up on some of the animals because I thought some of them were not real. Um, I, I mentioned it I was think- not real. I remember I talked about this. Um, I forgot it was if it was Asian animals or it was Asian uh, news update episode. But I was talking about these bears that look like people were just dressed up as bears, waving high. I found that those are actually real bears. But China is also guilty of painting dogs as um as tigers. Oh yeah, at the zoo. That's real. So I don't think that was the same as it wasn't. Same, no, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. All right, but um, what are some of your favorite moments slash episodes from this past I year? I really, really enjoyed when we did that, and I'm gonna make it a new thing where. I had to use a certain new Gen Z slang, and to ask Linji for his um his definition of it. I thought it was hilarious how he- that was mainly you bringing the slang. Yeah, but I had to ask you what uh, what you thought it was, and Linji was like, "What the fuck are you saying?" I was talking with my niece this past week, <laughs> yeah. and she's she's ten, but I think she's technically Gen Alpha, right? Or like yeah. the last bit of Gen Alpha. Yeah. Oh, uh, fuck, wait, that's wait, wait, Alpha is that the, yeah. is that the only oh, shit? So that's after Gen Z, but she knows uh. a bunch of the gen alpha gen z slang so we just yeah. we're like chatting about it <laughs> so i was using the little bit of knowledge that i knew yeah do you know what it means to call something ohio whoa ohio is that japanese or american you're cooking so ohio like the state ohio it's so bland yeah bland and boring what that's what it, it means that's like yeah. the new mid or maybe some yeah maybe Maybe I'm not using it exactly correctly, but that's apparently what it means. That's crazy. So I was just like joking with her the whole time. Like, you're so North Carolina right Yo, now. Oh, <laughs> that's, fi- that's fire, bro. Yo, that's crazy. Uh, do you know what pokey means? Not the food pokey, but P-O-O-K-I-E. Shit. Like, you're my uh, pokey. You're, you're, like my, you're like my boo? You're my boo thing? It's like good friends. Oh, really? Yeah. Pokey or pookie? You sure it's not pookie? It is pookie. Okay, P-O-O is pookie, I guess. A pookie. Yeah. Pookie. Not pokey. Pokey. Yeah, I was like, I don't know about pokey. Yeah, pookie. Yeah. Pookie's, pookie was a term used though back then. Pookie? Yeah, pookie. Pookie meant like, like, oh, you're oh, my little pookie. My, my little pookie bear. It meant, it meant, it was a term of endearment. Is that? That's like old English. Is that just what you called one of your exes? Yeah, probably actually. <laughs> yeah. All right. What other fun moments do you have from this uh, past year? Oh, I really liked the Asian death battle where we talked about like, Korean companies and Chinese companies. And recency bias, out. man. Recency yeah. bias. That one, that no, it wasn't recency bias. Just because, like, I didn't know the amount of money that some of these Chinese companies had. Yo, thank God we didn't take on that Timu sponsorship because we have talked so much shit about Timu oh, afterwards, right? If we had taken on that sponsorship 
and then we had to talk about Timu, we wouldn't have been as open about our thoughts about Timu. It's as like, as- oh yeah, we love our Timu. Uh, <laughs> yes, Master Timu. Yes, we are. You are. You are it. You are Please it. Please buy all your cutlery from Timu. Please yeah, use man. promo code Warstation. <laughs> so I guess um the other thing is, oh um you know what's a really good one. A lot of uh, good feedback about the Asian Han. That one was a really popular one. Korean Han. It's not yeah, Asian Korean. Han. Oh, I'm sorry. Specifically, Chinese people don't no, have no, any no. Han, apparently. We don't have any Han. Or right, you guys call it Hong. I don't know what the fuck you guys call <laughs> Hong, it. Hong. Yeah. Hong Kong. And Kong. then um, paying back um, our Asian parents. That one, that one really resonated a lot with, uh, um, with some of our listeners. So that was really cool. Yeah. Because I forget that we do some serious topics. We try to sprinkle in a serious topic yeah. here and there. I think... What was the last one that we said? Oh, that language barrier with yes, our parents? Yes, yes, yes. That one was a really good one, too. A lot of this stuff just comes from our personal experiences, and then we kind of just throw it into like a topic. So I think we try to do, or we will try to do like a mixture of mostly just dumb, funny stuff. Yeah. And then every once in a while, we'll take like a semi-serious topic and try to make that kind of like right. fun, but also edutainment edutainment or so, whatever this word is that we can't think of that ben created on the past episode fuck i gotta find this shit now but yes i think it's nice it's something you know your parents won't you can show your parents and you won't be embarrassed showing it to them that's kind of what it is i remember one time i was on my phone and there was this guy saying like fuck it he fuck fuck whatever right and my mom just comes in and she's like oh you and your phone just always going like fuck 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 fuck, fuck. And i'm like i was like I never heard her say fuck a lot. <laughs> and then she, I was like, you know, you could tell when it's cursed. She's like, yeah, of course. That's all you listen to. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, I was like, at least she's not playing it in the background in her salon. Yeah, or at church or something. Or yeah, at that, church. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be funny. All right. Uh, let's quickly go over our expectations for the next year and then yes. we can go to the ranting and raving. So, Ben, 50 50 coin flip again. Yeah. Or yeah. 51 49. Do you see us getting to year four? Yeah, that, yeah, definitely. Now I oh, feel we're so fucked <laughs> <laughs> because when I you said that too soon, huh? Because I when you expect something, yeah, it's not gonna come. Oh, come on now, come on now, dude. Do you expect us to get to October sixteenth of twenty twenty five? I am really, really excited towards it, and I actually do want to ask you like some ideas of like what we can do or that I could do, main specifically, to try to elevate. The podcast because again i think we need two lights we need two studio oh guys we need two. all right guys all right. here's my prediction for the next year guys oh my god here we Shut go up. with this here we go the only thing i want is what do you want yeah okay actually two things a cheaper accountant <laughs> and- no, yes, for the love of god, bro, i know a guy i know his name is mahmoud he, <laughs> he's in jackson heights bro he's on, he's on the seven train he's cheap only 100 bucks bro and i want a second studio light okay i i've been on ben's case i'm like we don't have money because we keep having to buy hard drives. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah, fine. I don't know what it is, but Linji is like obsessed with having two lights. Like he feels like that's the game changer. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not going to change shit, bro. I'm like, because these lights are expensive. This thing is like, I think it's a PlayStation 5 for a fucking light. It's a light bulb that's a, as much as a PlayStation 5. The light itself is 350 okay great not a even counting, playstation 5 not, not even counting the stand and the and, and the globe and the bulb. yeah lantern thing yeah exactly like bro dingy i don't know what it is i i'm gonna i'm gonna buy why would you let us just buy the second lights because it's just i just can't justify saying like not only do we have an expensive light we have two expensive <laughs> lights that's it's like almost a thousand dollars invested into light bulbs that's because the light is always on your side so you're always well lit Oh my! Yo, you just me. Just I was get born pale. in the dark. <laughs> just get more. Born in the dark. All right, I'm not gonna fight it. You know, I trust Linji's judgment and betterment for the group. So we're gonna get a we're gonna get another fucking expensive <laughs> as light. Um, but uh, the, yes, a cheaper CPA, bro. <laughs> I did. Why don't you tell me how much these things cost? I didn't know how much it cost. Yo, you're the fucking light, yo. Did he say he's gonna give a discount? Because yo, I saw a tax return and I was like. Me and Lindsay have the exact same amounts, the negatives. I'm like, this is a good tax write-off, but we're all, this is way too high. I was like, this all right. Can't uh, be it. So sorry, you were saying we'll survive till next year. I yes. Oh, there we go. We'll change something. All right. I feel confident about. What it. is your what biggest you? fear for next year, or for the next year coming up? Um, oh shit. Fears can be like our viewership drops. Yeah. We miss lots of episodes. We get stale on content. What other fears can we have? 
my biggest fear. We get canceled. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We get canceled. I hope I, if we're gonna end our show, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go out by canceling ourselves on purpose. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> If we're going to go out, we're going to go out with a fucking bang. That's Just what remember, saying. our final episode, we said this on year one. If we ever do a final episode, the topic will be Asian planets. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Yes. People that I have do. listened since season one, I think we were joking that's back a, then because we weren't sure how far we were going to go. But if we ever have an episode called Asian Planet, you will know this podcast is over. Yes. That's a, that's a good throwback. I like that. I guess my biggest fear is, now, number one is, there's been times when like it doesn't feel fun like the moment it feels like oh wow this is like work or it's just depressing or uh, what do you what what do people call oh it feels like marriage that's the word now <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if it just feels something like that i think that's one of my biggest fears um running out of topics will never happen only because never we will flip through the dictionary take two words yep and just put it together yeah um like, we'll make a topic out of it yeah we're you know we're a fucking machine with that, <laughs> but another uh, my biggest fear is the moment you you ha- you say we need a third light, <laughs> I will lose my fucking shit. You're gonna be like, we need a light for the lights or some shit, or I need a light for the camera. I'm gonna punch in your face, bro. Like live <laughs> on this fucking expensive ass camera, bro. I swear to God, you're gonna be like, yo, this table needs lights. Like, you're, <laughs> can I just bring we LEDs? Need- what if I get us LEDs? What if we get? RGB lights be behind us. <laughs> what if I guess uh, would would that be okay? What if I got like, LED lights? No, we need one more of these same oh lights. Oh my god, I'm gonna take a picture of this shit so you guys can. People see. know. I think people have seen it. We've shown pictures of guys, it. Guys, it looks like a hot air balloon that like <laughs> fucking TikTok used. That's what it, it looks like a TikTok <laughs> balloon. <laughs> TikTok That's balloon. what the shit looks like. That's how big it is. It's the balloons from uh, North Korea to <laughs> South to <laughs> South Korea <laughs> with the garbage. Remember, uh, they're yeah. flying over garbage. I shit. All right. Well, your turn. What is your uh, biggest fears? Uh, and concerns? Oh, wait. I think we'll probably make it to next year, and because we both think we'll make it to next year, we probably oh, will, cry. That's bad. We probably will not make it to that's, next year. Yeah, that's not good, bro. That's not good at all, uh, man. My biggest fear. I really don't have any big fears, honestly. I just think that. Um, oh look at me i'm lingy i have no fear i'm i'm batman i used to be worried about always putting something out every single week and oh, we still yeah. strive to do that yeah. but when you don't show up or i am yeah. sick or you're sick back-to-back yeah. weeks or w- whatever i'm okay with that i no longer fear that because i was always told you have to put something out because you always have to be present for the people that i remember yeah you're listen like to you our viewership percentage you're you're you were like NBC of our podcast. Every time I you realize. miss a week, there's always a, some people that will not come back because whatever. Yeah. But now... that's oh, I think that's okay. Now you're like, but they come back. But that's fine. They always come back. I think that's, that's perfectly fine. It's like, a, it's like, a, it's like a, that crazy ex, right? You know, we're not the kind of podcast that does like weekly topical stuff. So it's not like they need to listen every week. I'm sure like a lot of people oh, yeah, you're will right. listen to stuff a couple weeks outdated and just, you know, catch oh. up on it. Yeah, which is fine. That's a really fucking good point. I wish I knew a lot sooner. But it is it is nice knowing that, like you know, you like to be very uh, diligent, diligent. You know, uh, regimen based and just just trying to keep it going. You always said strike when the iron's hot. I think now it's a little a uh, little uh, warm, lukewarm. <laughs> it's it's lukewarm, but it's still striking though. That's fine. a good thing. It's still striking hot. Uh, though. What other fears? I don't think I have any other fears. I really don't think we can run out of topics. We joke about running out of topics, but genuinely... There was a period where... I'm not lying. I was, it was really, really hard for because me. Because between the news one, the miscellaneous one, and then needing the two, two or three actual topics, it's much easier now. Yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of like we really did figure... We w- worked out all the kinks and the wrinkles. Because the, the news one covers all the timely stuff yeah miscellaneous one is stuff that we've always wanted to talk about that's non-asian yeah. and then we just have to put in two or three asian ones which we we have a lot all right on to the ranting and raving where ben and i like to talk about something shitty happening in our lives or something good happening in our lives ben what do you have shitty or good happening in your life now besides your flaky ass croissant skin oh man dude it is it's so croissant it is crust <laughs> it is crusty bro i gotta get a new chair afterwards too yeah I guess what I was going to talk about is just everything's getting still really, really expensive. And I keep forgetting about it. I was, what was I trying to buy? And it blew my fucking mind. It was almost like 
It was almost 10 bucks. I think it was like cauliflower or some shit. I forgot what it was. I think you've complained about I did, but a it was, certain it, it was floral else, vegetable so, before. It was, it was another uh, floral vegetable that was just so ridiculously expensive that I remember I just, I was like, I'm just not going to buy it. Like, I just remember how much more frugal I, I had to become. It's yeah. weird. I'm taking longer to shop, but that's because only I realized my options are getting so much more limited. Oh, I remember now. What? It was fucking uh, heavy cream. Heavy cream for heavy cream is like ten bucks now, dude. I didn't even realize it. I haven't bought heavy cream in a long time, so I actually wouldn't know. Yeah, so you know, I'll try to cook sometimes with like certain dishes that require it. And I'm like, this cannot be right. It was eight ninety nine. I was like For the small little pint or for the bigger For the for the big, for the big not even like the big one, the, the thin what do you call the thin tall Is that one? a quart? No, that's not it's a quart. I think it's, I think it's a quart. Shit. Little small little quart, guys. So the yeah, the little quart thingies, that shit was ten bucks. And I was like, I literally, I looked at the half and half. I was like, I'm getting half and half. Fuck this shit. Oh. So it was, yeah, man. It's just, inflation's bad. I don't know, you know, the election's soon too, I guess. So uh, I know a lot of people are like really- No one's going to help with inflation. Inflation yeah. is a worldwide problem right so now. So also, yeah, that's another thing I think we do really well on is that we try not to be political. We try not to And be. even if we are political- um, It's not a real opinion. It's just a dumb yeah. opinion. And look, man, what's great about this fucking country is that I might not agree with what you um, believe in, but by God, I will defend your right and stand by it, even though you're fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> touche, touche. There you touché. go. Okay. Um, what do you got, bro? My wife was giving me shit last time because uh -huh. I have a set of oldest shirts that I use as PJs. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I'll shower and then I'll sleep in like an old t-shirt, right? <laughs> you just use old shirts to clean your body. Uh -uh. <laughs> to clean my body. Like washcloths and shit. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> I'll sleep in like an oldest t-shirt. It's obviously clean because, you know, it's like yeah. clean and folded, but it's like an old t-shirt. Maybe it has a hole. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's like, I don't know, 1995 something, right? Yeah. So I'll sleep in it. And then the next day when I wake up, I'll change it to outdoor clothes because that's my <laughs> indoor clothes, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, that makes sense. But it's the winter now. So I put on like a lot of hoodies. So I will sometimes just put a hoodie over my shirt that i've slept in which is aka my sleeping indoor clothes yeah I, I and then i'll go outside i do that at all times so bro. my theory is and my okay. wife says this is wrong okay is i'm gonna wear my hoodie as the main thing anyways okay so why am i gonna wear like a nicer outdoor shirt on the inside which is not going to be seen and it's just creating extra laundry why can't i just wear my pj shirt outside and then that night i'll take off both my hoodie and that shirt which is my pj shirt so I'm wasting one less piece of clothing. Yep, that I mean to me. Am I crazy to to think so, that that makes some sense? Let me just get this correctly. So I, you know, when I get home, right? So let, what I'm wearing right now, right? I go home. I have a, I have a, like you know, indoors. So I go into like a, so I always a baggy t-shirt and some kind of like old like basketball shorts or something. Yes, right? that's your indoor clothes. Indoor clothes. But let's just say now it's like, oh shit, I have to go back out to you know the post office. But now, you know, I'll take the basketball shorts off and I'll put on, you know, pants because it's cold. Outdoor pants. Outdoor pants. I'll put on outdoor pants, but then I'll put on my outdoor hoodie. Over your indoor, indoor shirt. shirt. And I'll do what I got to do. Then I'll come back. And now this is the thing. Depending on, let's say, like, if I feel like I was sweaty or like it was, if I was sweating a good amount, then I'll change. But if it's like 10 minute tops, right? Barely broke a sweat. I will still stay in that shirt. So in my situation, it's slightly different because I will come uh -huh. back and everything will come off because I'm going out in the shirt I slept in the, day, the right, night right, before. Yeah, that part I got, yeah. So I'll go on in a, with that shirt on the inside and a hoodie on the outside. And then at the end of that day, when I come home, everything comes off. The inside shirt, the hoodie comes off. So I'm not taking that shirt back to bed. Now, when you say end of the day, how long were you? What was the it's duration a, of this indoor shirt? To, uh, how long was it? It's a full shirt? day. Then you know what? I would change too. I would do the same. I agree. Wait, wait. I don't change. You're disgusting. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Hold on. <laughs> I change when I come home at the end of the day. Everything. What, yes, everything. Into a new indoor shirt. Yes. Then yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. I agree with you. What I mean is I don't wake up, take off my sleeping shirt, wear a outdoor shirt, then wear another outdoor yes, hoodie yes, over yes, it. Yeah. yeah because yeah. what's the point of that in the What's the point I, of that shirt? I agree with you. Yeah. So there's... there's Guys, do we make any sense here? I know it's a bit confusing without diagrams and like a blackboard, right? But <laughs> I'm just trying to say it's one piece of clothing less 
Because if I'm I... going to throw it all in the laundry at the end of the day anyways, then what does it matter? And it's on the inside. It's not being seen. I know. I agree with you. The only time I actually do change my indoor shirt to outdoor shirt sometimes, right? Is in the summer when that is summer, your primary right. shirt. Also, some of my indoor shirts tend to have like old stains. They're clean, but they have like sometimes oil stains are just hard to get rid of, right? But even if it has the stains, you have a hoodie over it. So right, right, why right. does it matter? If it just, that's the only thing. If it like looks like it has like different gradients of oil color, then I will like spottage, then I will do it. But for the most part, I am on the same boat as you. All I, right. will, I will exactly do the same thing. Good. I just hope our listeners have. This no, might no, no. have been the most confusing rant here, Raven. <laughs> this is mainly listeners. for my wife. So if she listens to this episode... She's going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> and, she gets, and she gets to this Yo, part, bow. then she will know what I'm talking about. This is Yo. just for my wife here. Okay, guys, we're at the outro. Thank you so much for being with us for three years, three months, three or three weeks, or glorious. three days, or three hours. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. For however long you've been here uh, is well appreciated. From the first few hundred people to everyone that's here now, it's yes. all been such a blast. And even though this is still work, this is well, this will never stop being work. But it's uh, it's still work. There is still work involved. It's still enjoyable work. You can't spell work without orc. That made no sense. But what I'm doing, <laughs> you just look mad confused. I would say for the people that are new and listening, hey, give us a shot. It's been three years, so we must be doing something, right? No, it's just... You don't have to be right to keep doing something. Hey, uh... You could just be doing something because <laughs> you're too stubborn to give up. <laughs> Doesn't mean that you're right or doing anything good. What's that saying? A broken clock is right twice or some shit like that, right? Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Bingo. That's us right there. What in does that have to do with... That doesn't connect. Oh, it doesn't? It doesn't connect with what we're doing. I have no idea what the fuck I'm trying to say that. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, yes, if yes, you're yes. at this point, leave us a five-star review. If you have not already, yes, on Apple or Spotify, written if possible, shoot us a DM. Let us know what is this word that we can't think of. It was like persuade and entertainment. Persuade. It was something that you created in the past, Ben. Fuck. And then I thought it was a genius word. I didn't write it somewhere. <laughs> you didn't write it anywhere. You just said it on air. Fuck. I, I want to find it so bad. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next week. And if you don't, that's okay. We'll see you guys the following week. Yeah. There you go, guys. Say bye, man. Yup. Peace, guys. Adios. Bye.